I record to the cloud. All there right. There you go. There <laughs> you we are go. here. Yeah, for sure. Hi. My favorite person to be on, um, one of my very, very favorite to be on the platform with. And I, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, and I'm just being transparent, y'all. I love everybody on the platform, but I love it when I get the opportunity to be on with Lisa Muth. Hey, hey, we got some exciting things that we want to share today. I'm just totally thrilled uh, to talk about some of the wonderful things that you're doing, Lisa, in your oh, business. Uh-oh. And yes. an opportunity for you to be able to share with others that we'll be able to glean from you related to direct selling and you just Yay. are experiencing such awesome success so i want to share from that and then you're going to talk some about uh how to keep the team around the campfire and i'm looking yes. forward to that and i'm just i'm not i'm not not listening i'm just sharing this out <laughs> so okay, if i'm looking down not that i'm not looking, I, I am going. <laughs> yeah <laughs> And so the other opportunities that we have is that I may get an opportunity, assuming we have time, to introduce our listening and participants um, to what I call sod for business, um, how to plant and grow sod in your business. And that's an acronym. Most of you know that, um, that I have an acronym. I, th I think it was Rich Oswald named me the acronym acronym queen and so we're going to have that opportunity for you later on so lisa i know you're sharing some stuff for us on social media and letting the folks know we're here but how's it going in your life what's going on well it's busy as i think anybody could say right now just everybody's probably getting ready for christmas thanksgiving um, in business, it's busy. It's in direct sales. This is our busiest, busiest season of the year, I guess the busiest season of the year. Um, if I can get my words together, but, um, so for us, yeah, it's just really, um, and I know we're going to kind of deep dive into different aspects cool. of this, but, um, but personally in my own business, just, just making sure that I'm taking care of my customers, that I'm taking care of my team and, you know, just really doing that health check. Like you did for me the other day. Hey, how are you doing? Is everything yeah. okay? And it's okay for us to do that to our people, to our yeah. friends, yeah. to our, you know, to our, to our circle. So. Because in all honesty, there's so much going on to your point. Uh, in the, in not only nationally, globally, 2020 has been quite the year. <laughs> yes. We can put it like that. It's been quite the year. And, but what I'm still saying, and this is my story and I'm sticking to it and it's not up for debate. This is going to be the best year ever because I believe it's a matter of perspective, not discounting, um, oh my God, the, the lives that have been challenged, the lives that have been lost, uh, the situations that we've experienced, the elevated um, rise, I should say, in uh, racial challenges. And oh my God, and as recent, the election. And uh, there's so much that is there that is opposing opposing yeah i'm going to choose that opposing life as we knew it and that is opposing the opportunity to declare and degree decree that this is your best year ever because mm -hmm. i was there's hope at, huh there's hope, there's hope. Yeah. yeah our hope is in jesus not in that's our right. circumstances that's right and so what what we have to do to get to that point is to trust our faith in God, because I was looking at some posts from November of last year and how I was projecting that 2020 would be off the chain, that this is going to be, and a lot of people went out there too, so y'all don't leave me out there alone, talking about 2020 vision, you know, this is a great opportunity. Well, if God said it then, it was settled. If God said it, and I believe he said it, and I believe he spoke it to me and many, many others. So our opportunity is we've got what's remaining in November. Today is the 10th. Yes. Okay. And then all of December through the 31st at 1159 
to mm -hmm. declare and decree that 2020 in summation is our best year ever. Have we yeah. been challenged uh, to great extents? By all means. But we've also experienced wins mm -hmm. and have opportunity to experience greater wins, but we're not giving them the voice that yeah. they, those wins need voice. And so today on the platform, Lisa, I want us to just start off about first just thanking you. Lisa is, I can say, our newest GCBN sponsor and on a provider level. And also, I have to say this, Lisa, I have to say this, behind the scenes, Lisa is still a part of the GCBN admin team. For, for years, Lisa, you served me in GCBN for zero cents. Hear me, guys, and hear me well. When I say zero cents, I mean zero cents, okay? In fact, I really, you went so into the negative. Why do I say it like that? Because all this time, she's sewing so into GCBN. She's a member, but not even to that. Yeah, you're saying she's sewing through service acts of kindness. No, it went beyond that. She put her money where her mouth was. And given the opportunity, okay, she has now become a GCBN corporate sponsor on the provider level. You know, you guys on Facebook, help me. That's say, big. If you don't know, that's big stuff, you guys. <laughs> that yeah. is big stuff. That's big stuff. And we appreciate you. So I'm tooting your horn because not only have you done that for us, all the while you've muddled through situations that have come back. And I was saying this morning to myself, use you as an example. I know 2020 has been hard, but was 2019 easy for you, Lisa? <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, it was not. Yeah, yeah. It was not yeah. easy. No, 2020 no, for us and our family. No. It was challenging. It was quite a challenging. But in the end, what? We win. And yeah. that's what we want to help you understand today. There are still opportunities for us to win. So, Lisa, I want to transition over to you and allow you an opportunity to kind of give us some background. And I guess we could start off talking about the direct selling and you know, maybe some of the experiences that you had prior to connecting with your niche right now mm -hmm. um, and help those that are listening. And thank you for those that are audience on Facebook Live. If you're yeah. willing, please join us on Zoom. Uh, the link's there. Please feel free to connect if you want a more intimate uh, connection. We'd love to have you here. But in the interim, just chat with us and let us hear what's on your mind and some of the questions that Lisa might be able to assist you with. Yeah, we like to shout you guys out too. So let us know who's here. So as, as far as my direct sales journey, I would just have to say that my mother was in direct sales when I was younger as a teen and, and even in college. And I, I saw the work that she put into it. I saw people discounting it as a business. In fact, a lot of you probably who are listening may say, ah, oh, direct sales or MLM. And the reason that is, is because there are a lot of people within the industry that have given us a bad name. Um, they're the ones that are hitting up your DM saying, hey, join me, buy my stuff, all of the things. And it's really kind of tacky um, and it's off-putting. And so we do have a viable business opportunity in direct sales. And the blessing of that is that I do not have to go downtown, rent a building, brick and mortar, turn on lights, turn on water. I don't have to do that. The direct sales industry is designed in such a way that there's a product and a service created for you, shipped for you, packaged for you. Um, you have your own online website that you can um, send your customers to or even help them to order. You know, you don't want to take that customer service aspect out. That is huge. Mm -hmm. um, but it is a it's a viable business opportunity. And if you take anything away, that is something that a lot of people, especially in 2020, have realized, maybe not necessarily with our GCBN folks, but people out in the world outside of our GCBN world that have lost a job or have, you know, um, had trouble there. And, and now they don't have an option. And what I have found in 2020 with our industry is our company 
provided a service that folks couldn't get at a salon, you know, where people would normally be going to the salon every two to three weeks to have a mani, have a petty, what have you. They now could not go to do that for themselves. And I know we have some folks um, at GGG that, and, and, and Delisa being one that says, I do not not go. I will always go, right? <laughs> to, have, to have that time for yourself. And we understand that, but we were able to step in in a time that that was closed and fill a need. And a lot of us are retaining customers from that because it is time saving. It is very affordable. It is very fun and easy. And you can literally do it at your house. And wow. so I find too, that I do support my direct sellers. In fact, I was uh, at a party a week and a half ago, a direct sales company that supports um, uh, women in countries like Uganda, um, other places. I can't think of every one of them off the top of my head, but they help them by providing the service. So the women there are um, making the products, they're, they're being able to support their families, um, help provide education for their children. And this direct sales company is helping them to do that. So if you wow. don't take anything away, um, don't discount it. And, and the products are so quality. When I got the jewelry um, yesterday, I think it came in the mail and I was like, this is amazing. I didn't know how it would, you know, come in the mail, you know, you see right. it on the website, but it is beautiful. And knowing that it was hand spun by women who it's making an impact for their life. That's incredible to me. So I will wow. always support my direct sales MLM sisters. I just do. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. And, but to support, it starts there. And that's why I gave that little uh, shout out to you for how you've served GCBN. But in addition to support others, it actually is a great opportunity to bring that income into your household. And you get the opportunity to determine what that looks like, if you will. If you want to work a little, if you want to work a lot. What are your goals? What are your visions? You get to determine that. Is yes. that true? Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, the way that most direct sales and MLM, um, well, at least direct sales for sure, is there is um, a marketing plan or a pay plan. And it's not like a, a corporate job. You go to a corporate job, you clock in, you clock out, you do the job. Uh -huh. You have a vision from corporate or from the business that owns, you know, that, that hired you um, uh -huh. in direct sales, you have a overall vision, but what you put into it is really your choice. And I love that our business ebbs and flows with our life. So if you know that your refrigerator blew out and you need to replace it, then you know that your product is valued at a certain amount, how much you need to sell to be able to earn that income to uh -huh. replace your refrigerator. I love that. And you can do that quickly. You can do that as slow as you want to. And, and I did take some notes, Ms. Beth. I did. Um, my first point there was teamwork makes the dream work. And who's around your campfire? Because, mm. because in our industry, and maybe even where you may sit, you may be like, well, I'm not a direct seller. This still will help you because are you a team of one? Because if you're a team of one, you're still a team. You have you and Jesus, right? In our industry, we have um, the opportunity to build a team if we want to. You don't have to. And that's what I love. Now, some people in the industry um, do not, you know, it's the, it, the adage that I mentioned about keeping them around the campfire. They're not. They're pressing them into the campfire. Like, you're going to do this. You're going to do this. And I do not run my team that way. I don't want anybody pressuring me. I don't want anybody's thumb on top of me. This is my business. And I'm going to run it how I want to. No right. one's going to stop me. And so that's what I love about this adage. And I actually learned this adage from um, a trainer that is, is in our industry. And he's, he's very good in our industry with training folks and keeping them around the campfire. Um, and that's where I got that from was keeping your team and maybe you're a team of one, but you have people within your circle. So who is that? You know? Yeah. 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 And so many times um, we don't step out into a business venture like our friends who are in GCBN that have a business because we're afraid, or maybe we don't step out because we're dealing with some self-talk and some junk in our trunk that we need to kind of work through and kind of figure out what is it that I, am I really worthy that let's yeah. just get down to the bottom of it. A lot of times before anybody starts a business, 
is the product that I'm offering? Is the service that I'm offering? Am I okay? Am I worthy enough to push this out into the world? And will I fail? Because that's what holds a lot of people back. Yeah. And that's where we have to recognize that. And we have to get some help. We have to call Miss Beth and get a coaching session set up. We have to get some counseling. Maybe we have to maybe talk to, you know, our counselors or get some biblical guidance and counseling there to kind of work through some of those, um, those stoppages that's keeping you from really falling into what God has for you in your life. And I remember at GCBN two or three years ago, Beth told me, she said, I got a word for you. And I was like, what does that mean? I don't even know. And so <laughs> I'm literally like following her around like a puppy dog around the golf course all day long. Like, is she going to tell me my word? Is she going to, what, 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 what is it? What is it? What is it? And the whole day had been exhausted. We go back to the hotel and it is late. I don't even know what time. And she is, um, she is in the, near the fireplace in the entryway. And she said, Lisa, come here. And I was like, yes, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get my word. And and I wasn't expecting it. And I really had to text her back and be like, what do you mean? And she said, Lisa, she said, I've got a word. She said, you are, uh, you need to go up here. She said, you are trying to be down here. That is not what God has for you. He has you up here. You need to figure out what you're doing. You need to just run for God. And I was just like, okay, but what, how does that look? What is that? What does that mean? Where am I going? What am I doing? You know, sometimes you need people in your life to pour into you and to make you recognize what your strengths and your weaknesses are so that you can really dive in for God. Because at that point, that was, I think three years ago, yeah. I did not know where he would have me. I was at a point that I wasn't where I am now, right? And we're not going to be in the same place, hopefully a year from now. We're constantly growing. And so be coachable, find that person that you can go to, talk with Beth, get that call set up so that she can kind of crush those things that are holding you back from doing what God would have you. But I have to interject here is that your following me is indicative of nor, first of all, I was creditable, and that's important because people don't just want, there's so many prophecies going around these days, you know, and, and yeah. people, and I don't declare to be a prophet, however, God will give me a word on occasion, so I act in that role. And you are wise, you are it. wise, wise, wise. <laughs> yes, and so the deal is this, you, your response makes the difference. You could have taken it and said, okay, uh, I believe that God gave Miss Beth that word, but fear, any level of things could have come up to prevent you from moving forward. Your decision and your response made all of the difference. And one of the things that God will allow people to do is to see things in you. Hopefully he's already shown you those things, but for whatever reason, you're not acting it out or walking in those things. But when he speaks that word through another to affirm the word that he's already given you, it's an opportunity to bring you up to that number. And he's calling you and he's holding you accountable and responsible because not only has he spoken it to you, but he's spoken it to someone else. And now you have the opportunity to move forward. Now, what I'll have to say, and then I'm switching right back to you because I want to hear good stuff. You're, you're on a trail here. The other thing that you have to do that I noted in you is not be offended because I said, Lisa, you're acting down here. I gave her some hard feedback and she was doing great things from day one. Jessica and I decided because I call GGG Jessica's baby. Okay. And we knew from the first time that you skated into Friday <laughs> night that we'll have you open GGG because God, I even see something else. May I speak it? I've told you, may I even speak? May I speak it over yeah. here? Yes. See, Lisa is also a dynamic, world-class global speaker. And God is using her already. And she's already operating on that level. She has the ability to, with humor, to captivate an audience and through utilizing funny stories that are true and real 
but seeing them from a perspective of how I can grow from it and sharing it with others so they can be encouraged to grow as well. Now, see, why am I taking this time to say this? Because those of you that are listening now and that will listen to the replay, the things that are happening to you right now that are challenging you to the hilt, that are causing you frustration and you're believing you're in it all alone, things that are coming against you. There have been times that you've been in uh, direct sales with other organizations and they didn't serve you well. They didn't value you. There are people that are not being valued today, but they're serving and they're making money for other people that are devaluing them. But God said, what God said stands, okay? What you make happen for others, whether they like you or not, he's gonna make it happen for you. And at that appointed time, he'll pick you up, pull you out so that he can place you where you're gonna be valued. That's what I wanna say. And that's what you've demonstrated to us. And girl, don't make me start because I could go on. <laughs> well, I love that you said um, that you have to do something with it because I would love to have said three years ago when Beth told me that, that I ran with it. But I was stuck exactly where she was saying in a direct sales uh, business that we were trying to start, trying to grow, trying to whatever. And God just kept telling me, you need to leave. And I kept saying, oh, but God, this is a dream and this is amazing. And so I kept, but God and but God and but God. And but here's the thing, but beware the enemies at the door, give him an inch and he's going to take a mile and you need to guard your thoughts. You need to have some wise counsel. You need to have some people to go to. And I did, I went to Beth. This was after she gave me my word. I'm pretty sure. And I was thinking, yeah. I don't know how to, I don't know how to progress from there. I don't know how to get to that point. And it's okay. If you can't make a leap from here to here, it's a process. And whether okay. that's in a brick and mortar business, whether that's in corporate America, whether that's, you know, running your own photography studio or indirect sales, like it is going to be a process and be okay with the process. Be okay with that. Yes, be okay with the process, you know, because if the word is true, that it will come to pass, okay? So yeah. you had to be okay. And then the thing that I want to say that you've highlighted for us is that once you have an awesome word and you've received it, more than likely you're going to be challenged in that very thing because the enemy doesn't want you to come into the fullness of that. The enemy doesn't want that to come to full fruition. He will negate it in every opportunity. Well, you're here and you're stuck. Nobody here has appreciated me that I'm going to be this great speaker that I'm serving here and that God's going to use me mightily. No one that has spoken that closely to me. And so that doesn't mean that it isn't true. Nobody can stop what God has for you. What God has for you is for you. And the only person that can interrupt God's plan in your life is you, is yeah. me. Yeah. Is that true? That is so true. And yeah. often we do. Often we yeah. do. And, 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 and be accountable, you know, take, take that up. Hey, I did that. Hey, I, you know, I did this on my own and be okay and be adult, you know, pull up your pants, walk it out, be okay with it. Once you've worked on yourself, you've got that counsel, you've gotten that coaching, you've gotten that vision of where you're wanting to go, where you feel like God is leading you to go. Once you have that um, down, once you've worked on yourself and that's taken care of, you're going to be able to share your vision and others are going to be able to get on board. Just like Beth said, Beth was um, a light in my life. I, I value her. I have that trust, respect for her. So I was hearing what she was saying. But I probably wouldn't have took that from somebody who I didn't have that respect or that that thing for. So yourself, your family, your friends, your clients, all of that, maybe your vendors, if you have a product or a service or uh, you or you're learning a service from someone, those are your people around your circle, because we're still kind of talking like, am I the only one? Maybe I don't have a team. Am I the one? So people will be able to get all in with you and go all in with you when you've worked on yourself, right? Because a right. lot of people I'm finding in our world struggle, right. we struggle with right. self-talk, including myself. I'm just going to be honest. 
um, including self-talk. Am I doing enough? Uh, you know, my children are literally in the other room. One's supposed to be homeschooling. He's helping me watch the kids so I can do this call, but that's okay because somebody <laughs> needs to hear this today. Yeah. But I, could, but I could be all up in my head about it and be like, oh, well, I'm a horrible mother. And, you know, let's just give ourselves some grace. Okay. Right, let's just right. give ourselves some grace. Something I got to tell you too about direct sales. If you don't know, here's the key secret that I wish everybody who would join would understand this. Um, that market that you have, that's your warm market is what we call it is like your friends, your family, uh, you know, close, close, um, people in your circle, uh -huh. they are not going to jump and run with you. They are not. So be okay with that. <laughs> uh, how many people are in the world? Like three something billion or something. I don't or like in the U S I don't even know. There's a lot of people that need what we have. And so it's okay to not go directly to our friends and our family who have already, and especially if you, if you direct sales hop a lot, like if you've okay. been in 700 businesses, they're just going to come and be like, okay, here's another one. Wow. But realize wow. that it's, it's okay. If you haven't found your niche, like, like Beth said, like it took me a long time to find what I have right now. And right. I'm thankful. Right. So thankful. Um, yes, yes. And you know, this is so good that you make that comment. And I'm sorry for those that are in the waiting room. Uh, we're oh. going to let you in right now. But uh, this is so important uh, for us to know. And this isn't just direct sales. Um, the opportunity here is to know that people there are more for you than against you. What we have a tendency to do is to lean towards those that are against us because we want certain people to validate us or to compliment us or to affirm us when God is not sending those at all. And this is a tendency that in families as well as uh, in business with families or not just direct sales, Lisa, that we think the first go-to is, is that we're going to go to the family and they're going to yeah, embrace all us. In. Are we going to go to our church family and they're going to embrace us? But God said, I'm doing a new thing. I am doing a new thing. And what we are trying to do is hold on to the old thing. Yes. He said, behold, can you not see it? Because let me tell you why we can't see it, Lisa. It's because we're focused on the old thing. But we ask God, magnify us, make us, make my name great. Mm -hmm. uh, let me do great and wonderful things for you. And that's okay. God wants to do that. The thing is, we're trying to hold on to the old and drag it with us. Yeah. Everybody can't go where God is taking you. And right. so what God is doing is he's making a path in the wilderness. He's showing you greater and mighty things that you knew not of. Right. But the thing you determine, you determine when you're going to walk with God, to trust him, not lean to what you assume. Oh, well, I thought this one would support me or that one would support me. No, God said, if I'm supporting you, don't worry about it. I've got much people in this place. This is, is good. So Keep it going, my friend. That is so yeah. true. Okay, so some things that you need to think about when you're kind of getting into that, oh, my warm market, oh, my friends. And like Beth said, it could be your business that you're in right now. Maybe it's not direct sales. And that's what we keep saying. Like, this is not a talk specifically to direct sales. It's yeah. just, that's just where I am. So that's where yeah. I'm coming from. But this is transparent to any thing that you're doing, even if you're a volunteer at your child's school, like, hello, this can help you. So here's what you need to do when, when you're, when you see yourself focusing on the things that Satan wants you to focus on, I'm not good enough. I don't know enough. I'm not smart enough. I don't have a degree, like whatever that is for you. How are you showing up? Sometimes we got to fake it till we make it. I'm just going to put yeah. that out there or faith it. My friend Sylvia says faith it till you make it. Yes. Sometimes you just have to figure yeah. out how are you showing up? What are you offering? What are you good at that you can offer? We are in a, um, a, a, a digital world right now. What is it that you can offer digitally? What is it that you know? A service, a product? Is it something that you can make? Do you love t-shirts? Do you make things? Like, what is it that you can do and show and offer? And, and does it work? Is, does somebody need that in their life? And here's a big one, W-I-I-F-M, W-I-I-F-M, what is in it, what's in it for me? What's yes. in it for me? That's what people want to yes. know. You're scrolling yes. through Facebook, 
What do I need? What do I want? What is going to help me? So when we're thinking about that with our audience, our cold market or our warm market, we need to kind of consider that investments. Sometimes you may have to invest in my business. We have a kit that you invest in. It has, you know, catalogs and your product and some things to get you started in your business. You need to invest in some things. And is it training? Let's park that for a minute. I struggle with some time management. I know that. And there is a class tomorrow, a workshop that GCBN has partnered with Converging Solutions to provide a time management uh, workshop for us. And I've invested mm -hmm. in that because I need that. Not yes. only do I need it, I can help teach it later. Because <laughs> this, this, this is this is good. Come on, Lisa. Yeah. So you have to you have to think that whatever you're taking in, and I've learned this through um, my friend Ray Higdon that I that I coach with because he's an industry specific trainer and my friend Kimberly Olson, who I train with mm -hmm. and they train whatever you invest in, you implement it, then you teach it because it's a dollar. You can make a dollar from it, right? So if we're sitting back, like I'm broke, I'm poor, I'm whatever, like invest because it is like Beth said, whatever you're pushing out, like whatever you're investing in and you're sewing into, you're going to get it back. Times, talents, treasures, that's scriptural. Hello. <laughs> can we yeah. talk about that? I want to mention this. Remember Jesus, when he was in Nazareth, did he stay there? What did they tell him? They said, oh, isn't this Joseph's son, right? They didn't validate who he was or what he had to bring because they kept on associating with him with his past or who he was associated with. Aren't you Joseph's son? So what did he do? Did he hang around the campfire there? No, he went somewhere else. And so yeah. it's okay if we have a warm market that's going cold, they don't want to talk to us or they dodge us at the Walmart. Uh -huh. It's okay for you to talk to other people. It's okay for us to go and find other clients elsewhere because other people need what you have anyway. And it's probably going to benefit you relationship wise, spiritually wise, like all the other things to find them elsewhere. Okay. So I'm not saying that we're Jesus. But I'm just saying he gave us an example and he didn't stay there, right? Well, what I want to say, oh my God, there's so much to unpack there, Lisa. You know what? We've got to find the time to get back on this platform again. <laughs> no, we should have did part one and part two. Yes, we, we should have. We really should have. And we're going to try to see if we can find time, even if we have to come on an off day. Maybe we yes. do a Friday, small business. We'll work with Christian on trying to make some of that happen. Okay, but a couple of things that you said that I believe are so significant and necessary and needed of uh, repeating is I love your friend's statement, faith it till you make it. And that is so powerful. We walk by what? Faith, faith. by sight? No. no we by walk faith. by faith, not by what we see. So mm -hmm. I love it. I'll be borrowing that. And I can yep. give her credit if you tell me whose yeah. name, but faith it till you make it. And I love that because I do believe that God wants us to move forward in the things that he reveals us, reveals to us. And we don't always know what that looks like, right? But right. we start out, you know, my son has um, a drum in the house, Romy. Jerome Copeland has Rome Media and Rome Media is branched out beyond just being a DJ. And he had a huge gig over the weekend and he faked it till he made it, you know? So there was Bianca, his beautiful wife and his beautiful sister, Jessica, dressed to the hilt, I told him. <laughs> and representing him well there because they handled the photo booth. And so I was so proud. And of course I got to babysit, but, uh, <laughs> but what I'm saying is you have to branch out and do some things that are differently. If you have a niche that God is giving you, I believe that it's important. If God sees you moving towards that, you don't always know what that looks like. All they knew is that uh, for my 60th, a couple of years ago, uh, Jessica paid a lot of money for a photo booth. And they said, we can do that. And it aligns with Rome Media's vision. And so he just enlarged his scope. So God is looking for you to faith it till you make it. And it turned out really good. And possibly more opportunities are coming out of that. Awesome. The other thing is just the strategy that you were saying. Um you need a strategy to go outside what's familiar and what feels right 
because I believe sometimes, Lisa, God wants us a little bit uncomfortable, but God put us, put it in my spirit. And here's one of those write down words that I need to share is that for those are just starting right now, they're going through the news feed uh, on social media, whether it's LinkedIn, Instagram, whether it's Facebook, wherever you're finding yourself and you're saying, oh my God, I knew that person or I know that person. And they just seem to be doing great things. And you're feeling like, wow, I would love to get started into something. Maybe direct selling is what you do. Maybe you love doing your nails and you want to, you're, but I believe it requires a passion mm -hmm. to be able to have a passion for the product, but also a passion for moving forward to allow God to use, understanding that God has called you for greater. Yeah. And it just takes your moving. I don't know how many opportunities, and I'll allow you to speak to this, Lisa, that you, even though you saw mom coming up in direct sales, but did you just immediately, we've already said in some level, attach to the direct seller that would bring you the greatest amount of success? Not necessarily. It's a lot of trial and error. But I love my late mother used to say, nothing beat a failure but a try. And I used to think failure and a try were names, you know, were people's name. Nothing beat a failure but a try because I heard it from way up. And then when I grew up and understood more of what she was saying, uh, you know, yeah, nothing beat that failure but a try. And that's what you do. And I have that deep rooted within me because that's what she always said. Okay. And so if you feel like you're behind the curve, I'm so behind the curve. Everybody's already uh, doing TED Talks or uh, written five books and I'm just trying to finish one or stop comparing yourself, yourself to other people. What I have to say right here, some of you, this will resonate. God has a plan and you are a part of it. Know that God's plan for you is for you and that he can do exceedingly abundantly above all that you're able to ask or think. And if you'll attach to him, understanding that you're not being in competition with anyone, there are opportunities still out there today for you, regardless of what they pertain to, because God says you're unique and that you're fearfully and wonderfully made. So I wanted to say that it's prime time right now. Some people are experiencing their best seasons in the midst of a world, an, a, a global pandemic. Mm -hmm. Everybody isn't gonna understand why you would start a business. But if God told you to do it, start it. Right. That's it. That yeah. is it. So good. Invest in yourself. Yeah. And be social. You know, a lot of times on social, we're just like, like, heart, like, like start a conversation. Act as if social media is as we are here. You know, it's okay to comment and, and talk to people on your social and be social it's okay yes yes for definite and again i've said this and this will be the third time today what you make happen for others god will make it happen for you do not be afraid to help someone and support invest in yourself yes but at the same time do not be afraid to invest in others. Read Proverbs 11, 23, 24, 25, somewhere around there and understand how important giving. We're in a season of thanks and giving. Yeah. Yeah. Giving is so important to propel you forward. Understand and embrace it. Every opportunity. As often, often as you have opportunity, do good unto all men, especially, especially those of the household of faith. Yeah. That's God's word. That's his truth. You may not even understand why God is having you to sow a seed. You know, you may not even know the person and that's okay. You don't need to. Or maybe you know the person and you feel like, I don't like that person or the person doesn't like. If God told you to do it, do it. Embrace the gift of giving. Mm, it's so important. Good. And you are so good at that. You are so good. <laughs> you're, you're a great example to us. 
on how to give because you're always I love to give I right. do and and because and I'm not saying don't be a good steward because that is important and some people know that you have the gift of giving and they want to leech but God will, you'll learn wisdom you'll start off and it'll be a little tricky and people will come to you because they know oh she'll give she's a giver you know but you be led by the spirit but I love what Joyce Meyer said once, you know, should I give to this person on the side of the street? If God gave you something to do and he gave you a nudge and said to give and you gave, listen, that's probably more than likely not from the enemy. He don't care if you don't, he <laughs> wants you to not care about other people. That he wants true. you to go through life thinking it's all about you mm -hmm. and not looking for yeah. those opportunities to serve. Yeah. You know, Lisa, how do you keep the members around the campfire? What's the size of your team right now? Um, we are about are 400. We're, we're about 400 people um, from all over. Your, your director now? Um, I'm a senior director. Mm -hmm. Oh, senior director. Well, um, yeah, I know. It's so fancy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, but we have about 400 on the team. We have, um, I mean, and, and that's what I think that it's important as a leader to catch what vision they have and help them to get to that vision. Because um, there's a rule, again, I learned this from, from the direct sales um, folks that, that, I train, that I've trained with in the past. There's an 80-15-5 rule. And that means that, is that right? 80-15-5, it should add up to 100. 80% yeah, of the people that are coming in, they just want to either buy the product at a discount. They just want to maybe get a couple hundred dollars, maybe not even a couple hundred, maybe a hundred dollars um, extra a month. But there's 15% that are going to want to maybe get anywhere from two to 500. And then there's 5% that want to go to the top. So mm -hmm. you can't focus your time trying to rally that five and, and, and massage that five and help that five because you have this 80 and 15 mm -hmm. still here. Yeah. So at what point do they move into the five? We'll keep them around the campfire and you'll figure it out and be okay with their goals that's that's okay. where that's how i run my team and i mentioned that a little bit earlier i do not i, I will help you and encourage you but i'm not going to say oh i need this trip or oh i need this rank let's go because it's not about that it's about what they want and zig ziglar says what is his phrase um if you help enough people get what they want you'll get what you want so mm -hmm. That's how I do it. And, um, and it was confirmed. Um, we had an open talk um, uh, question and answer and, and that was confirmed. And that phrase was mentioned by Ray. He said, keep them around the campfire. And it confirmed what I was doing because I felt like because I wasn't producing enough leaders or I didn't have enough people who earned the trips or the whatever, I felt like a failure. Like I was failing them. And he confirmed to me that that is not the case that the, keep them around the campfire. Some people don't want to be a leader and that's okay. Some people don't want to cruise. That's okay. Or a trip or what have you. Some people just want the product at a discount. Some people just want to put extra gas in their car or bread on the table and that's okay. And we should be able to provide that. So that's my keep them around the campfire. You never know when that'll change in people's lives. Every six months, things change. So that could change. You just check in, reevaluate and work with those who want to run, but don't forget those who are, who are sitting around the campfire. Exactly. And so you're talking to about uh, nurture and develop as well. Yes. And I love the people component because I remember a time and I'm just going to be transparent here. We've been in business 10 years, Georgia Christian Business Network, putting God back in business. Yay. And initially I was so focused on making the network great. The first two years, you know, the first year, uh, it really, it would be almost 11 years because I had a business partner and we were trying to grow and it was hard. And then Next year, she left. She decided God was taking her in a different direction, and that was fine. And so I was like, okay, bye. I'm gone too, you know, but God said not. And I was like, oh my God, you know. So then I'm trying to, in hustle mentality, which hustle is good sometimes, but God, allow God to develop what He wants to develop, and you don't own it. If it's His vision, then He will provide. It's his provision uh, is what you want. And so I would just want people to join uh, GCBN and because I wanted the network great. And that had to switch. And when that switch happened, 
to where I just wanted the people great. Mm -hmm. That they would have a great experience when they attended GCBM meetings or events. It's just like you mentioned the time management workshop on tomorrow. I'm so excited for that. I wish more people understood how important it is to invest. You know, oh, I know how to manage time or, you know, I'm not gonna pay $59, which is valued at $259 or $49. And GCBN, I negotiate with people to get uh, a reduced pricing considerably so that GCBN members can attend and participate. And it's on you to sign up. Lisa, with your great success, you recognize there are opportunities with managing your time. So you've signed up to participate in this event. You paid $59. What it will benefit you, even though it's valued at $249, will be exceedingly beyond that $249 in the long term because time is what time is valuable one of my husband when he was operating more in business uh, one of his crewmen said to him time is money and i like that time e equals money in a lot of regards and so what we have to understand when we get this opportunity to manage our time more effectively and productively it will equal allowing us to soar higher, obtain to greater levels, and that will equal the money. And so I love it that you said that about investing in yourself. I'm Can I say one real quick thing? Yeah, please. For those of you that are watching, if you, if you haven't signed up, you need to. And here's the thing. The one ticket that you're going to need, that one piece, that one gear that you need for your toolbox, it's going to be on that call. And if you're not there, you're not going to get it. And you're still going to be spinning your wheels looking for that one piece for your puzzle. And it's here. It's, it's at this training. And so think of it as an investment. Think of it. You can write it off on your taxes. We're not giving tax yeah. advice, but anything that you're, you're, you're benefiting your business for it, it helps. And so just do it. Just yeah. Do it. And, and what you said, and I appreciate that, Lisa, because all of these events that we have on Take Charge Tuesday for right now are totally free for the listening audience. But when we have a special event, take advantage, invest in it for yourself, but also to support GCBN as well. Because all of these events don't, and this is just for those, if it doesn't apply, throw it out the window. But for those where it does, if it's free, you sign me up. Sometimes people won't go for free though, Lisa. But mm -hmm. if it's free, more than often when there's a charge, it's like, oh, I can do this or I've got this skill. I have a lot of skills and I'm a coach, but I need coaching and I have people that I re reach out to, to do a process check, to coach me. And the opportunity is that we have to invest because yes. the servant is worthy of his hire. We also have a nonprofit workshop that's coming up. And right. I've had people that ask me for it and said, Beth, we need this for uh, the nonprofits. Guess what? They haven't even signed up for it. And people are investing in their time. And the, the people that are professionals that are providing it, uh, Dr. Tanae, uh, Akalasi and also Henrietta Akalasi, their sister-in-laws, oh, nice. they have both expertise and I call uh, Henrietta the nonprofit guru. Listen, they were like, do we readjust the price? No, it's the value. Yeah. You know, we've already reduced it. We're not going to adjust it. If their time's not right to receive it, we'll go forward with the ones or twos or threes. I think four or five, whatever we have, we'll go forward with that mm -hmm. because there are people that need it tomorrow. Yeah. We're going forward with the time management. Why? People need it. And we've got to be available to serve. Don't mm -hmm. forget about those 80 that are still at the campfire. They're just not ready to get warm yet. That's they're right. just, they're just they're skirting just around the edges there, yeah. but they see the fire. And then if you continue to have the fire and add some wood to it and the fire gets warmer and warmer, some of that heat is going to draw them. 
And so what we have to do, Lisa, what you have to do, what I have to do, Ty, Tony, what you have to do for joining us on Zoom, what we have to do is keep the fire burning. Some people want to see you exceed. Some don't though, but still nonetheless, those that are not for you, if, they could, if you continue to succeed and go forth, they will have to look and acknowledge and say, oh, there is something that what she's doing. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And whether it's an admiration or resentment, don't worry about those. You keep bringing God the greatest glory that you possibly can for your life. Oh, wow. How do you sum this up, Lisa? Well, I think that you just, you just need to go for it. You know, you just need to figure out what it is that you, that you're looking for. If you have a team, even if you're a team of one, remember those things of keeping people around the campfire. You, you may have family that's there to support you and keep you around the campfire. Um, be okay with not being perfect. A lot of us struggle with that. We have to be perfect. Everything has to be the T's crossed, the dots eyed. It's okay to be transparent and to be relatable yeah. because yeah. that's what draws people to you in the first place. Um, if you feel like you don't have people to reach out to or what have you, remember to go back to, do you have some junk in your trunk? You have some baggage you need to work out because that's who you're going to be attracting to yourself. Wow. That's, that's what's wow. going to happen. So wow. work on that. Get some coaching. Be coachable. We should always be learning. We should never not stop learning. My dad always said, nobody can take your education. And that's so true. Wow. They can take and, a lot and, of things. And, and, and listen at you. You know, and I've got a word and I'm putting it out here. This is our first time hearing this, okay? But I've got to tell you that I do know at some point you're going to be even on that platform for some of those major events that they have because that will be an opportunity for you to walk in that um, global speaking opportunity. I just saw that just honestly about 15, 30 minutes ago when you were first speaking about that, that they're going to recognize you. Sometimes you have to understand and y'all hear me well here on Facebook Live and hi Rob, thanks for joining us here on Zoom. Hear me well, your gifts shall make room for you and cause you to sit among great men. So don't be afraid. Your gifts as in talents, your gifts as in what you offer and gifts of love, uh, whether it's monetary time to others. Don't be afraid to allow your gifts to make room for you. And God will use that because he's ready in you. He's preparing you for the greatness that he preordained that you should walk in. God has called you higher, but you're playing small. Like I said to Lisa years ago, and she heard that word. And the way you play small is that when we offer opportunities to invest in yourself, make certain that you take advantage of those, whether it's a time management. And I know sometimes people, someone texted me that they got kind of flim flammed, if you will, in a coaching opportunity where people are charging a whole bunch of money. We're not about putting on events to make money, a whole bunch of money. Listen, the events that we sponsor is just enough to take care of the presenter in a very small way and supports GCBN very minimal. By the time we start marketing and such, all of that on Facebook and social media and uh, virtual assistants and all that, listen, don't worry about us getting rich. But what we're talking about, but we will be, and we are, but what we are focused on is helping you to grow your business, helping you to become more successful. That's just our passion. That's just our drive. And that's what we're about. Okay. This it. has been wonderful, Lisa. I'm just totally thrilled. Thank you for letting me come and speak. Oh, no. <laughs> and if we can we're help at all, let us know your takeaways. If you have questions, let us know. Yeah. Sign up for tomorrow. Yes, yes. Hey, Rob, we've been talking about time management quite a bit. Uh, Lisa, put it out there because she's one of the participants for tomorrow. And yes, we're sir. hoping that okay. others will recognize the value and the great opportunity that Convergence Solutions has provided 
for us to be able to offer to Jews GCBN members and guests and guests for a mere $59. So uh, thank you. And well, you can find uh, out all the details. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, I just look forward to seeing seeing everyone there that can make it. Um, uh, looking forward to it. There is a pre-work module that you need to get. So go ahead and get registered today so you have time to complete that pre-work module before 8.30 in the morning. It's 10 minutes, but it'll set you up for success. Yes, and please know that uh, those of you that have registered already that I heard from Christian before this call and that email went out uh, or should have gone out. I haven't checked my email maybe at noon today, but it, it should be out there for you. Uh, those of you that, as, as Rob just mentioned, that are still uh, interested in uh, registering, please do so. And we'll be happy to forward that email to you. Listen, even as late as seven o'clock in the morning, if you want to get it, because the class starts at eight or eight fifteen, we definitely want to make sure that you're included. Okay, Tony, thanks for having uh, time, taking the time to join us today. We appreciate you. Could you send me the link for the um, training tomorrow, the registration? I'm putting my email in the tab. Up. Yes, sir. I'll send it to you. Yes, Lisa's got you. Okay, awesome. This is wonderful. May I just send out a shout out to Wellness Wednesday tomorrow. I am so excited about what's happening on Wednesdays on our GCBN virtual platform with Rich Oswald and Pamela Bridgman. Uh, just the next couple of uh, sessions we have um, a guest, Karen Harrison, that Rich is invited because Pamela's off uh, this month preparing for a new home and a whole bunch of others speaking at uh, conferences and such. But I'm totally thrilled to tell you that they're going to talk about um, stress uh, opportunities, how to deal with grief over the holidays. Wellness Wednesday platform, we've gone from conflict, relationships, and now we're talking about relevant topics that uh, people experience around the holidays. And grief is something that coping with that around the holidays is a huge topic. And so join us on Wednesdays, same time. You can say the same Zoom number or visit our Facebook Live page because we have wonderful clinical specialists uh, that are certified to help you get through life. And I'm totally excited about that. Visit our website, www.gcbnetwork.com. We need people to join our network. Join up. We've got great opportunities upcoming. I can't wait to announce next week our kickoff on January 23rd and our keynote speaker. In fact, you know what? I'm going to tell you. Dr. Randy Ross is going to be our keynote speaker on January 23rd. Hopefully we'll have all our marketing ready to reveal next week. He wrote Relationomics. And those of you that participate, you're going to receive a copy of his book because I believe our theme for next year is the year of the comeback. And so we're gonna do hashtag comeback uh, and we're going to have him talk to us about how we can use relationomics to grow our business and to better our lives. Okay, so that's it for us. Visit our website, www.gcbnetwork.com. See you guys in the morning at 815. Sign up. We're going to get you signed up, Tony. And those of you, Lisa, if you put it in the link also on Facebook, we'll go for it. Excited, praying for you guys. Thanks for your support. Bye-bye.